Assalamualaikum. My name is Sofia Iliana, and for today's video, I would like to tell you guys one of my biggest secrets. But shh, don't tell anyone else. I love row phobia. Have you guys ever heard about the word before? Yes, it is related to phobia, but you have probably guessed what kind of phobia it is, right? Don't be surprised, but it is a fear of cat. Your next question probably will be, nah, is ailurophobia ever exist in Malaysia? And the answer is yes. For example, me. <laughs> Alright, I do have a fear of cats. It is not just being uncomfortable or mildly irritated by cats, but it really can affect my daily life. Without further ado, let me tell you the definition of ailurophobia. Let's go! Ailurophobia is the term used to describe an extreme fear of cats that makes a person feel anxious and panic when they are around or even just think about them. Ailurophobia, gatophobia, and phalinophobia are other names for this particular phobia. This might be happened to someone who had a bad experience with cats. If you have allurophobia, you can spend a lot of time worrying about coming across cats and considering how to avoid them, such as by avoiding people who own cats or stray cats. It is really such an amazing sport as you will take a long way just to avoid a cat. <laughs> Let's now discuss the symptoms. When considering contact with the cats, it can cause symptoms that are both physical and psychological. The major symptom that I experienced from ailurophobia was a severe fear of hearing or seeing cats. I could be triggered only by looking at cartoons, pictures, or even videos of cats. Physical signs typically include increased sweating or pulse rate, but occasionally just featuring a situation where a cat will be present might make me want to run. Next, psychological symptoms. Psychological symptoms cause me chest pain or tightness as well as occasionally having difficulties breathing and make me want to cry. Despite the fact that it may be simple for some people, these symptoms have the ability to change my everyday habits. For instance, if someone owns a cat, I might stop going to see them. Or even worse, sometimes I will have a bad nightmare just because I experience with cats during the day. Furthermore, how I concern myself from having an allurophobia. Firstly, I will avoid the places that have a lot of cats. For example, at the restaurant, friends or family members that own more than 5 cats at their house. But if one, then it's fine. This is because I can reduce the fear of the cats. Secondly, sometimes my friends always show me a cute cat's video and tell how sweet the cat is, just to make me feel better about the cats. Lastly, I usually will buy any cat's food in my bag so that I can ask my friends to give it to the cats so that it will prevent the cats to come to near me, especially at the food stall. That's it. At the end of the day, it's okay to have something that you phobia, but if it is getting worse, try to avoid the object of your phobia. You can also try to use an exposure therapy technique in which you slowly expose yourself to cats. For example, watching videos or looking at pictures of cats or visiting places that have cats. But please, keep remember, for those who are watching this and probably not fear of cats or you are a cat lover, please don't bring the cats near your friend who have ailurophobia because it will somehow make it even worse. That's all from me. Thank you for watching. Bye!